Okay, the package in question. Just kidding. You hoes be tripping. Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Decca and today I will be trying on and reviewing a dress but not just any dress. The collection is called Loba by Cindy Kimberly or Wolfie Cindy. It is being hosted by Revolve. And yeah, I bought the dress. I wanna tell you why I bought the dress and what I think of the dress, but first let me show you the dress on. Let's get into it. Oh, I ripped the plastic that it's in. Oops. Okay, here we go. Okay, first things first. I love the color so much. That's why I bought it. Baby blue, uh, Loba, Stephanie gown, in size medium. Country of origin, China. More about that later. <laughs> okay, so it's got the little paper in it. I don't know where it is. Oh, tissue paper in it. Okay, we got a little silica gel thing. And here it is. I can see right through it. I don't think that's great. I can literally see like right through it. Like, I guess on camera, you might not be able to see that, but I can literally see pretty much everything <laughs> right through it. It feels, um, it feels cheap. It feels like paper to be real. Like it feels like very light tissue paper, actually. I wish it was more different than this literal piece of tissue paper, but honestly it's not. Uh, Let's try it on. So here's the dress. As you can see, I'm gonna be real, it's a bit of a letdown. I paid over $230 for this dress and I will be honest, I did not take a second to even look at the dress materials or where the dress was made. So let's start back at the beginning. I am a fan of high fashion Twitter, okay? If you know, you know. And I love Pinterest, mood board, Twitter. Again, if you know, you know. I can. I have a whole separate timeline that is just Pinterest, mood board, aspirational photos. And I love looking at that timeline. Although Twitter is going down the toilet and all of the images are blurry now. It's so annoying. I might as well just go on Pinterest. Anyway, so when this line dropped, first of all, the trailer. They had Cindy Kimberly, Wolfie Cindy, make, 
well, not even like they had, it seems like she wanted to do this. She made a short film starring herself, wearing some of the pieces, you know, in Europe. It was very aspirational, very cute. It was like a four minute film. I thought the film was wonderful. I thought it was very impressive. And it just kind of spoke to why people are fans of her. People are fans of her because one, she's a beautiful model. It's, she's very aspirational and she posts, you know, great high fashion content and commentary sometimes. And the film, the short film really spoke to why I think people love her is because of like the vision and the aesthetic and being able to like put yourself in that kind of, you know, world and feel like anybody could just be a high fashion girly off in Europe, you know, whatever. So when the line dropped, I, this is, this is how it went for me. I have a wedding to go to at the end of the summer. And I just went to a wedding a few months back. My friend gave me a dress. Here's the dress. Here's me in the dress at the wedding. My friend gave me this dress. It was a revolved dress and it had me snatched. It was giving a sexy, sophisticated wedding guest of honor. And I was like, okay, I have another wedding to go to. Maybe I should get a revolved dress of my own because that went over so well. So when this line dropped and I saw the film, I was in, okay? I bought that dress. Okay, first of all, I bought this dress so fast because of the color. I am a Tar Heel. I went to the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. I love the color Carolina blue. Also sometimes seen as baby blue. That's another conversation for another time. But anything in Carolina blue, I am going to cop. I literally just bought a Baboon to the Moon travel bag this one in the color blue because it's my color okay i'm a tar heel forever tar heel till i die so when i saw this dress in the capsule collection bought it instantly the price you know i hesitated for just a second because of the price but not long enough okay i bought it and i said okay i will wear this dress to my friend's wedding at the end of the summer and it'll go wonderfully and feel amazing and I'll feel so beautiful in it and like be able to take lots of great pictures and like share with my YouTube channel like what I thought of the dress and then maybe eventually resell the dress. So the price for me it was like this is just the norm. Like I know that the other Revolve dress that I had worn to the wedding was probably around the same price point. That one was also cheaply made let's be real. But the fact that they have, they hold some resale value, I was like, okay, whatever. Then the high fashion Twitter girls gave us the reel on this situation, okay? People were tweeting things like this and this about where is the price coming from? How are these pieces over $200, you know, or almost $200? for a top um, when these are 100% polyester made in China, fast fashion items, clearly. Like clearly you could buy something very similar on any website that is popular for fast fashion. I'm not even going to reference them because I've had a time with fast fashion. I regret doing a few fast fashion hauls. I think that sustainability is where it's at. And I really think that this conversation is, is about that because this person, this influencer has influence, real influence. And she really has an aesthetic and a vision and it connects, it resonates with us, right? As an audience. However, the same audience has become very aware that fast fashion is bad and that it is obviously very bad for the environment and it is it has gotten out of control and so fast fashion is really not something that i want to continue to support again this dress is from a fast fashion website that you can go back on my youtube channel and see where it came from i'm not recommending that 
brand, I just have the dress and I don't want to buy anything else because I feel like every time I buy something, I'm contributing to the fast fashion cycle and the pile up of garbage around our planet, you know, textile garbage. So this dress, even though it's cheaply made, it's cute enough and I'll wear it a bunch until it falls apart, which probably won't be long. This blazer is my grandmother's. I got it from her closet. It's probably older than me and I plan on wearing it for the rest of my life as long as I can. And I just, I love the items in my closet that are vintage, that came from my grandmother's closet, that are older than me, and that are not a part of this fast fashion hoopla, <laughs> okay? So I just appreciate the conversations happening online that are like, look, we love Cindy Kimberly. We love her wolfy Cindy persona. We love uh, her vision and her aesthetic. And of course, we want to buy things made and designed by her. However, the audience is not for fast fashion gimmicks. This has gotten so old. And like I said, out of control. It's lame. Like, yes, this dress came very fast. And yes, it, it, it does give sexy and sophisticated, but I can see right through it. That's a problem. It doesn't stay over my chest. I had to cut out nip slips. And if I wore this to a wedding where I'm gonna be dancing and having a good time, I wanna feel sexy and sophisticated and also not have to worry about my boobies coming out, okay? Like, be for real. So yeah, I just, as much as I love the color, as much as, you know, I would love to support um, this influencer and her brand, uh, I know it's not her brand. It's a collaboration with a big company and they have their own protocol. And that protocol is overpriced fast fashion and it's just, it's just gotten old, honestly. Like, I have friends who are designers who make custom pieces and charge less than what Revolve is charging for a dress like this. Like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Like, who is making all the profit and why is it so important to you? Like, and I want her to make a profit, obviously. Like, I want her to secure her bag. Like, she has all that influence of course she should monetize it, but I just think that it that it's time that influencers and brands and these fashion companies really take a second to think about where the audience is with fast fashion. And I think the overwhelming majority of people are over it and are willing to pay a high price, even though we ain't got no money in the bank, it's fine. Willing to pay the high price for you know, that vision for that aspiration, for that aesthetic um, that is being uplifted, but not at the cost of our planet. Like that is what it is coming down to is like the more that we consume and buy these fast fashion items, the more the textile trash is piling up and people care about that. Like, sorry, people do care about it now. It's gotten out of control and people care about it. So long story short, I will be returning this dress. I wanted to love it, but I did not realize that I was buying a 100% polyester uh, garment made in China. Like it literally says it right there. It's just made in China with a little loba, you know. A little loba, uh, tag put on it. it. It's basic, like surely you could buy this for a fraction of the price from a different fast fashion website. And I just, I don't want to encourage others to spend their hard earned money on something that is obviously so cheap and just really such a letdown, honestly. Like, uh, I, I mean, I only have myself to blame. I literally could have scrolled down and looked and saw that it was 100% polyester and I would have stopped myself, but that's just not how it went because Influence. I was influenced, okay? I was influenced. And I also think that this conversation, I saw some tweets touching on it being like a TikTok trend 
and the trends like being the problem or TikTok being the problem. No, it's just fashion being the problem. The fashion companies have the power to create a more sustainable, you know, line. Like they have impact. They can create change within the industry and make things slow down a little bit and not be so fast fashion forward. Like is the internet controlling us or are we controlling the internet? And if we can't just blame fast fashion on TikTok trends, the TikTok trend didn't make the garment, the company made the garment. So let's hold these companies accountable. And this is just me making a video about a dress that I really wanted to like, and I really wanted to shake my ass in at a wedding and it's not going to happen. I'm going to return this dress because it would be so dumb of me to spend $230 on something that I can buy from down the street and give the same thing. And it really like sucks to have to make a video that's like, oh, I was severely disappointed, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'll shut up now. Uh, let me know what you think. Are, are you a fan of Revolve? Are you a fan of Cindy Kimberly? Uh, did you like the film? Did you, I mean, what's there not to like about the film? Did you get any of the pieces? Do you like the pieces? Were you let down by any of the pieces? I am very curious to know. So let me know in the comments and I'll shut up now. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join me on my journey around the world, being beautiful. You know, you know. <laughs> okay, peace.